before this video starts i'm gonna apologize for my nails i, for I forgot to take off um the one press on and the old nail polish i'm embarrassed i'm, I'm gonna take it off right after this video i yes i am yes i am Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Bean with me, Erin Wells, and you read that title correctly? Let's make macaroni salad three ways. Let's get started. Alrighty guys, let's start off with our BLT macaroni salad. I'm just taking this processed pasta and we're gonna boil it till al dente. I'm taking my favorite brand of vegan bacon. You can also use coconut bacon. You can use the soy bacon that's in the stores. Just use your favorite vegan bacon or you can make it if you all fancy. So I use about four strips of the bacon. Now I'm gonna enhance the flavor also to make the color change. I'm gonna use some liquid smoke, some Worcestershire sauce or some W sauce if I said it wrong, my bad. Some ground paprika again, y'all. This is really not for flavor. Yes, it is gonna enhance it, but it's mostly for color. This bacon be real pink and do not look good when it's cooked, okay? Um, I'm also gonna take some grapeseed oil and then I'm just gonna cook that up in the pan until it it's done enough. I know you guys are already gonna say, put it in the oven or put it in the air fryer. Okay, but I didn't. So you can do that though. Let me know how it turns out. Air fryer probably is a good idea. Now for our L, we're gonna use actually some spinach. I took about two cups of spinach and I'm just gonna chop them up. Why I didn't use a knife? Because I'm Aaron. This is actually the hard way. Do not do this. Don't, don't, don't cut the spinach up y'all. Just just, just use a knife. We're gonna take two tomatoes on the vine. I really think you should use uh, grape tomatoes because these were not the best the next day. Now we're gonna take some salt, some dill, and some pepper, and we're gonna put all three of those in there and mix it all together. along with about a cap full of white vinegar. This is all to enhance the flavor. About a tablespoon of fresh garlic, some garlic and onion powder. There's no measurements for this, y'all. Y'all can see I'm literally just shaking. Start off small, get larger. Once you become more comfortable with cooking, you'll be more comfortable with shaking, but just do like a shh, shh, shh. You got it, your ancestors got you. Don't worry about it. After the bacon has cooled, we're gonna chop it up and add it into the bowl as well, along with a cup of Follow Your Heart uh, vegan mayo. But again, you don't have to use a cup. If you made less than I did, then obviously you need to eyeball it as well. Mix, mix, mix. Now it is time to add in the noodles. Of course, you can taste before you do this, but I decided to wait till afterwards because I didn't wanna just be eating a wet salad. <laughs> so I added three cups of noodles at first, and then I realized for me, after mixing it up, it was still a little too wet for my liking, so I added four cups of cooked noodles into my bowl, gave it a taste, and I liked it, and that one's all done. Next up, we have the classic, taking our remaining noodles. This is about three cups that's left over. We're gonna put a cup of red bell peppers in, about a whole bell pepper. The only reason I didn't use a whole, because I didn't have a whole. <laughs> then we're gonna take a cup of celery, about a fourth a cup of onions, and mix that on in. Mix, mix, mix. You can use um, regular mustard, but I decided to use Dijon, about a tablespoon, another cap full of our vinegar two teaspoons of brown sugar, and we're gonna mix, mix, mix that on in as well. Classic macaroni does require eggs. We are vegan, so we're gonna use some black salt, about two teaspoons of black salt. Again, we're gonna take out that garlic and onion powder and get to shaking, baby, yes. Next up, we're gonna use about three-fourths a cup of mayo. Again, I just eyeballed it. I was like, mm, this don't need a whole cup. I just felt it in my spirit, okay? My answer just tapped me on the shoulder and said, sis, don't put no whole cup in there, it's not necessary. Now, instead of pickles, because I couldn't find my pickles, we're gonna use some relish, about a fourth a cup of relish going in. Um, mix, 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 some salt and some pepper. And I forgot to mention, you are gonna wanna refrigerate these pastas for at least an hour, because they are meant to be cold until you're ready to enjoy. Next up, I am switching the pastas because I was out of elbow, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing, cook to al dente. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of garlic. You can add as much cilantro as you like. Again, I'm not measuring, but if you are gonna follow this recipe, I would say that's about mm, a fourth a cup of cilantro going in, some garlic, some lime juice. Again, I'm just squirting all over. I love elotes, also known as Mexican street corn, so I wanted the flavor to be popping okay so cilantro lime chili powder going in now i'm going to take this whole bag of frozen corn i haven't added it yet but i'm going to decide later that you might as well just dump the whole bag in here now for our cheese substitute we are going to be using nutritional yeast shake 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 all as much as you would like some pepper and of course some salt 
Now we're gonna add some our follow your heart. Again, a whole cup of mayo going in. Y'all, this mayo is expensive, so I'm I'm a little upset that I decided to do three different pastas when this mayo is 10 doll hairs. Yes, you heard me right. 10 doll hairs at the store, okay? So I'm mix, 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 and I'm like, where did my corn go? It's gone, so add the rest in. So the whole bag of <laughs> corn is going into the pasta. Boom, bam, boom. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Now I gave the pasta a little taste and it wasn't pungent enough. Is pungent a bad word? It wasn't flavorful enough for me. Uh, so I went ahead and added more of everything I just added. So I went back and added some more pepper, uh, some more salt, some more of the chili powder, some more of the nutritional yeast. Like I basically, basically look, we just went back. We went back, we added more flavor, okay? Now spoiler alert, this was not actually better the next day, y'all. Like it was really good when I made it, but I went back and had it. No, I went back and had it the same day, excuse me. Went back and had it later on that night after I got a chance to refrigerate it and it, the flavors did not enhance. It was good the very first day, but this wasn't my favorite the next day. As you can see, added more cilantro, like it, baby, I loved it the first day. I found my pickle juice, so here I am going back and adding a splash of it to the classic because originally the recipe does call for pickle juice, not relish, but I mean, they're in the same family. Relish is the, it's the cousin. So here is all our pastas, cold, except for the elote. I made it the day that I filmed this video. The rest I filmed the day before. All right, y'all, y'all already know all these are good for me. Um, I really wish we had time to let this sit, the uh, elote one, but we do not, but let's taste it all again. Boom, here it is all plated. Oh, it's focusing on me, but can y'all see? I'll insert a little video I took with my phone because y'all gotta get into it. Get into the real ramekins, okay? So first, we, no, let me not do the BLT from first. Let's do the classic, okay? Because the classic is the classic. And we had that little bit of pickle juice that I had last night, but I could not find it. The ghetto, okay? Mm. Mm-hmm. I've never been big on macaroni salad, but that that's macaroni salad. That is what I grew up on. It's a side if it runs out, nobody cares, but it does pair well with the baked beans. But you don't have nobody has to have macaroni salad. But let me tell you about these two here. <laughs> what you ain't gonna do is skip out. Let's go with the elote because it's the one that's not marinated, but it has all the flavor. Look at the color change. Okay, let's get into it. Mmm, baby, if that's better tomorrow. Come on, come on. Ooh, it's so good. Okay. And the BLT. Now, I already know it's the best one. Come on. Mmm. Now, the only thing is, the tomatoes, I can tell they're a little bit more, more watery the next day, so I wouldn't necessarily make this for a, the next day. I would make it, you know, three hours before the cookout, just so... The tomatoes did kind of burst in my mouth in an unpleasant way, but, mmm, okay. Let me go run and see if my mama like any of these. Y'all know she picky, okay? Ooh, okay. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.